Corpse Husband. Corpse Husband, a Twitch streamer and I would say YouTuber, releases music every once in a while. His songs kind of got some acclaim earlier on this year maybe like later last year. I loved them, man. I thought they were pretty cool. I think he had an interesting style. Corpse and Night Lovell. Hot demon bitches near you. Okay. I'm excited. I've always wanted to know if there were hot demon bitches near me. It's honestly like a daily occurrence. I, I get on my phone and consequently I get an ad for hot demon bitches near me. That's just the kind of thing you see in Twitter hell you know, along with all the BTS stands. I guess we're about to hear what it's all about. Okay. Same kind of vibe, but we'll see. No chance, you catch me down bad. No D90, aim straight for your head. No calling on my bitch, and she knows she at the top of the list. And she put up with a friend, so I tell her throw back. Drop it down low, let them know it's like that. Feel like I'm hexed, you that bitch bad. Damn, okay! All right, corpse. Oh my god. Lord have mercy. This boy is so down bad. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to diss him or nothing like that, but like, holy shit. This man needs it. Tell her, throw it back, then I blow a bag. Drop it down low, let him know it's like that. Feel like I'm hexed, yeah, that bitch bad. Call her around her neck and her ass real fat. Oh, man. God, if Shakespeare could fucking see us now, man. I love it, dude. Tell her, throw it back, and I'll blow a bag, drop it down low, and I'll tell them no like it's like that. Let's hear verse two. Uh, I like Nick Lovell's voice. Pretty dope. Pretty, uh, I like how they've kind of mixed together. This is shake it up, still the realest nigga in the mix. Why they always acting like a nigga ain't shit? Talk slick, then we empty out the clip. Six figures for the whip, bitch. Give me girls, land chain fangs, got an early fan. Smoking on a succubus, I feel like I'm devil man. Love you when I'm up in there, hardest with a pentagram. How you get a black hole in a pen and it was in the plan. She's fucked, yeah, same as my bitch. I'm quick. Yeah! I'm like I'm hexed, yeah, bitch, bad. Color on her neck and her ass real fat. Dude. Whoa! Just wild production. Almost a little bit too, to, for my personal taste, a little bit too too loud on the vocals. Demon Girl Slan, Chain Fangs got a only fans. Fucking on a succubus, feel like I'm Devil Man. Ugh, oh, the anime bars have made an appearance, and I'm so glad. Wow, that paints a picture. How do you get a plaque while independent? It was in the plan. You, I'll tell you how you get a plaque. You actually can ship it to yourself. <laughs> you can actually make your own plaques. It doesn't matter if you're on a label or not. A lot of people think you gotta be on a label to make a plaque if you hit a follower. But no, you just gotta re reach out to a trophy shop and they literally make plaques. It's kind of funny how easy it is to get a giant piece of metal engraved on your on your wall. I have actually little, little plaques that Steph made me uh, for I Love You Baby and uh, one of my other favorite songs, but yeah, this uh, this is horny. Yeah, this is this is really horny. It's kind of dope that he can rap about stuff like this, and it like honestly I believe it, which is the whole part, you know. Like this would be, I would say this this would be cringy and weird if he didn't pull it off so well. As for like the other guy kind of going through, his verse just kind of feels a little bit more of like a I'm scary, be afraid of me kind of type vibe. For songs like this. Personally, I feel like this is the kind of song you listen to when you're trying to get pumped up. Like in your, if you're in the gym, you're trying to get motivated to try to like go and like talk to your boss or something like that and just like you want to fucking rage a little bit. This is the perfect song for that. And I feel like it hits all those kind of like feelings when you listen to it with the production and how vocals are processed and the type of stuff that he's singing about. You, you hit all those, all those checkpoints. So yeah, man, I think it's pretty dope. Crazy to see how much more music he can put out that sounds like this, uh, but still sounds fresh and people enjoy it. Cause I feel like you can only kind of put these songs out like this on this kind of topic um, for so long, you know, until people are kind of like, eh, let's see something a little bit more diverse. Let's see a little bit of growth and is as an artist just to keep you kind of, you know, invested. And I feel like that kind of forethought being an artist kind of eclipse a lot of YouTubers and just people who don't really like kind of come up 
and say that they want to be a musician first, really, or, you know, it's kind of along that connotation. And everybody's different, you know, for sure. Everybody's got their own story and, and, you know, how they kind of get to their journey of wanting to make music and putting out, you know, different stuff. But having that forethought as an artist is what makes a, a decent artist an uh, incredible artist. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see if he implements those kind of things. Uh, I hope he does, because I really like his sound, honestly. So that is Corpse Husband. New song, Demon, Hot Demon Bitches Near You.